Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Charlotte Go. She's back. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah, Man, on. that 2 a.m. alarm clock was hard. <laughs> yeah. It was really tough mm. after a week off. Uh, that reality yeah, right? strikes. It was. Oh, it was back to life, back to reality. Back well, I, to life. I think we always come into Monday hungry, or at least I do. So we figure we talk about food today. Of course. But um, not good food. Well, it depends. It depends. <laughs> it, depends. it depends. Technically, it's good food. Let us know. Technically, it's good for you. Let us know what is your, you want to do favorite or least favorite? Both. Okay. okay. What is your, your favorite or least favorite vegetable? I'm going to Google what the top, um, top vegetables. Let, let us know which one it is. Top um, favorite. Because people feel very strongly about uh, vegetables. Um, it all becomes, because we, we did a story this morning on Wake Up Charlotte, about broccoli. And, I mean, we know broccoli is good for you, but supposedly broccoli is even better for us than we, we originally thought. Um, it can actually slow down the growth of COVID-19, mm -hmm. they found in science, which, I mean, you can't get more topical than that yeah. right now. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and then also help with cancer treatments. Um, and if you eat it while you're pregnant, it can uh, increase your child's attention span. Kim. Kim, we're going to have some more broccoli. Today. Eat some more like broccoli. broccoli. Broccoli really is a superfood. It is. My daughter surprisingly loves broccoli. That's like one of her faves. Broccoli and Very few cucumbers. Kids like broccoli. Yeah. I, she likes yeah. steamed broccoli though. Don't put yeah. anything on it. Not cheese. No, steam. Steamed. That's that's hardcore. She <laughs> I mean, she does. I'm not even impressive. a huge nah. I like Brussels sprouts if they're made the right way. Not I eat broccoli and <laughs> cauliflower almost every other day. You do? Uh, yeah. I, I, Look at you. Yeah. Not well, as big a fan as cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Oh my gosh. Do you have I, had this I literally had, I had this conversation uh, with my mom no, yesterday. She loves cauliflower. You don't like cauliflower? I'm not. Have a you gone to restaurants fan. where they have like the appetizer sure. with like the, the? Sure, and it's good. I mean, oh, you just whatever. It doesn't just like eh. light, it doesn't light my fire. Oh, okay, I like it. We could put I, I I put even hot sauce on it sometimes. Oh yeah, Ooh. so good, yeah. so good. So I I googled some of the top um, vegetables. People like sweet corn. Does game. that even count as a I vegetable? I don't even know if that's a vegetable. Because okay. it's starchy. I, mean, it's I, would, it's really starchy, I would say I love corn, too. too. And so green beans. Good. Green beans are great. I love green beans. Um, tomatoes. Oh, well, you know a what fruit. I love? Fruit. Tomatoes that's are fruit. fruit. Yeah. yeah, technically Why fruit. is it on this thing? Most well, people, people, people call it a Google. vegetable, you, but it's theoretically yeah. a fruit. Yeah. Well, then I'm switching to a different survey because this one is wrong, clearly. Throw a tomato in there. Well, oh, okay, Rebecca, she says broccoli reminds me of little bushes. It does. It does. I love that. <laughs> um, I, I enjoy, I have broccoli usually like twice a day. I am very impressed by that statement because, when you said that Not morning. because I love broccoli, but because um, <laughs> I meal prep on the weekends. Yeah. And so uh, I find, for one, it's just to me, just much easier if you have your, okay. your meals prepped for the, for the week. But also, it forces you to eat your vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to know this, because I've always wanted to know this. How do you do your meal prep? Do you just make a bunch of chicken and a bunch of broccoli and put them in separate containers for the whole week? Or how yeah. does that work? So what I do is I, um, I grill chicken. Mm -hmm. um, so that will be usually my dinner that I have during the week. And then I uh, do a pork tenderloin that I throw in the oven. Uh, and I do that and that usually would be my lunch. And then aside from that, I do uh, sauteed Brussels sprouts, shaved Brussels sprouts, because I like them shaved better. And then broccoli that I do roast in the oven. Mm -hmm. And I make a bunch of it. And then I separate it. I have little, I should have brought it out here, um, little containers that. Yeah. Um, Making me hungry. Just I know. Can you meal prep for all of us? <laughs> Is this all year round or just beach season? Um, oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Usually, I mean, it, it definitely picks up. Uh, so more beach broccoli season. during beach but, season. Yeah, but, but, but I will say we started doing it again, like probably in January or February, because after the holidays, we oh, just felt so, like, so gross. Yeah. And yeah, I know that. I, honestly, I'm a big, it's just so much simpler. When you don't have to worry about what you're having for lunch or dinner every day, it's just so much simpler. And you get your, your vegetables. Adulting, trying to figure out what you're going to eat every I, day. is just not, not, oh, yes. And, and I, I will go for like crackers and cheese. Well, pimento uh, cheese. Or, or pimento cheese. Oh, my God. Every time. If I don't have something, <laughs> I will go for snacks every time. So, um, See, Ben has machine. his meals planned, and during the midday show, I sit here looking at DoorDash thinking, what right? should I order? Which, you know um, how much time he's saving. Yeah, I and totally, money. Yeah, yeah, and money. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And something else I've started doing is, is um, in an attempt not to be wasteful, and it actually, she enjoys it. I give uh, Scout the little stalks of broccoli that I, that I don't eat. Your dog uh, eats broccoli? She loves it. Really? She loves it. It's very unusual for uh, a dog. <laughs> she loves it. And I, I check that it's okay for dogs to eat it. And uh, the rougher parts of the um, Brussels sprouts. She even likes that more. I saw online Brad Panovich's, Panovich's, my, yeah. 
Anyway, she was. They got a new puppy. And cute puppy, by the so way. So cute. Yeah. And they were giving um, her like frozen peas as little mm -hmm. treats because dogs can have those. I should incorporate veggies more in our. We dogs. do that now <laughs> with Romeo and Juliet. They get carrots with every meal just because yes. it's better for them. But then sometimes we'll do broccoli as well. But Romeo, whenever I'm peeling the carrots, will just sit there very patiently, and then he runs off and eats the carrot yeah. like in between his paws. So yeah, big vegetable fans for our dogs and our. It's house. amazing how excited they get about vegetables. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like maybe, maybe, the maybe, all these, maybe all these we're vegetarian dogs. I, huh? I know. I yeah. know. Well, I know. when we give them the same food every single day, when they get something different, it's it's like a treat for them, right? Uh, uh, Rebecca says she meal meal preps too. What do you meal prep? Share any secrets that uh, you do? And uh, how do you say that name? Sabrina? Sin Sinina. Sinia. Sin. Yeah. You love broccoli too. Yeah. Um, uh, one other thing we talked about this morning. Speaking of eating, um, is intermittent fasting. I have a friend that did intermittent fasting. She lives in Arkansas. She's a news anchor. And she lost over 100 pounds doing oh, wow. it. But evidently, according to the story that we had this morning, we said it doesn't really work. Well, it doesn't work in, in so far as that just calorie restriction is what it is. So if you, if you limit what you eat, that, that, if you limit your caloric you know, right. intake every day, that's what does it. The going 12 hours or going 16 hours, yeah. which is what, because I did it for a little bit last year, that's not what causes you to lose weight. It's just you, when you do it, when you do a 16 hour fast, you limit it so much time that you usually otherwise no snacks, would be eight, too, that, too that, food, that you yeah. just don't get the same yeah. calorie. But input. some people are like gorging on they food, you know, during that time that you can eat because it yeah. doesn't give you a calorie. No. It says, okay, you can eat during this just time go. and you can eat. <laughs> just, just go. Munch. You right can eat whatever now. you want. Yeah. Uh, Melissa says she meal preps every Sunday for the week. I do Saturday, uh, Melissa. Well done, uh, y'all. She swears by intermittent fasting. I think, honestly, if you can, to me, if you can get in the habit of it, it's great. It's the first few days of intermittent fasting that you are the most crotchety, curmudgeonly person because you're you're starving at first. Yeah. Your body gets used to it, but the first few days are like, oh my gosh, uh, this is. I wonder how it would work on this schedule because I feel like. I actually thought it was easier on this oh. schedule. Yes. Be Here's your example. Uh, because because what I would do is I would eat you know dinner at like seven or eight o'clock at night before bed, and then just come into work the next mo morning, work through the shift. And go home at one o'clock. Drink coffee while you're doing that. Black coffee. Like oil. Uh, like anyway, yeah. So. Um, and then go home when you eat at, at noon. So you're you're busy or sleeping almost yeah. the entire time. But if I'm hungry when I'm anchoring, I the words don't come out. Oh, I agree. Co correctly, well, because yeah, I can't so if you focus. you hear that in the morning, it's just like, I can't Sarah's focus. Hungry, right? That's a good way to blame me. Oh, I didn't have anything to eat. That's why I didn't talk. have any breakfast. I'm tired and hungry, and I can't. Well, notice I don't do it anymore. <laughs> so, evidently, I, I didn't love it too much. But uh, anyway, all right, folks, let us know your favorite or least favorite, uh, I was about to say broccoli, but <laughs> vegetable. vegetable. <laughs> I got you on this Monday. There you go. All right. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.